Hi, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the fundamental theorem of calculus part one to solve a problem. Now, this is in the James Stewart textbook, chapter 5.3, number 18. The question is asking to use part one of fundamental theorem of calculus to find the derivative of the following function. So how do we do that? If you look at the fundamental theorem of calculus here, you look at this, this is my part one, right? Part two is the summation calculating plugging the numbers B and A. Part one is this derivative of an integral that is depending on A to X, which the derivative is in terms of X here. And inside the integral is another variable T. Well, it can be any other variable. It doesn't have to be t, right? As long as the derivative is in terms of x, which is in the integral, in the boundary of the integral, which is a to x. Now, the answer is basically the function that is inside this integral replacing x only. Now, what happens if x is a function also? So that's what's in this case, which is a sign of x. So how do we do this now? Now first, I have to make my sine of x on top here, because that's very important to follow the rules. The rules is saying that function has to be on the top boundary here. Okay, so how do we do that? I have to follow one of the properties, which is minus. So I change the sign of the integral so I can actually exchange the boundary order. Instead of from sine x to one, now it's from one to sine of x. So the functions stay the same, square root of one plus t squared dt. Now that I have something like this, I want to find the derivative of this function. So dy over dx, which is equals to minus d over dx. I have the minus sign because of here, integral from one to sine of x, square root of one plus t squared dt. Now, since the rule is saying that this must be just x, right? But I have x sine of x. So what happened is I want to use a substitution. u equals to sine of x. So I want to substitute u by sine of x. So I have a u here. Now it's no longer d over dx because I, I want it to be chain rule now. Chain rule is saying that d over du times du over dx. This is basically the same thing here. So what I want to do is to find out what is du over dx. Now I know that du over dx here is going to be cos of x. So I know du over dx is cos of x. Now that I just need to derive the integral that is in terms of u. Okay, so this is going to become minus d over du integral from one to u, square root of one plus t squared dt, times du over dx. Okay, I'm just using substitution, u equals to sine of x, replacing the boundary, and multiply with a du over dx at the end. Basically, this is chain rule. Now, this is basically my fundamental theorem of calculus, right? So I can just write out the answer. Following this rule, my answer is just going to be the function replacing t by x. In this case here, it's replacing the function by u. So let me do it on the other page. So dy over dx here is equal to minus, now I'm replacing my answer here, square root of one plus u squared, right? This is my answer that I replace with the integral here, right? So derivative and the integral, this whole part here. Multiply with du over dx. Now I have to replace u back by the x function, right? The, the function that in, in terms of x and replace du over dx. This is going to be equals to, so dy over dx equals to square root of one plus sine square of x. What is du over dx again? It's cos of x, right? 
So I can just replace that by cos of x. Now you need to simplify this. This is 1 plus sine square. So this you cannot really sim simplify much here. So what I can do is I can just replace this cos in front just to make it nicer. So my answer is like this here. Minus cos of x times square root of 1 plus sine square of x. For more information about integrals, please visit my website goforaplus.com.